Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we'll be making use of the Turtle library for Python. For those of you who aren't familiar, Turtle is a pre-installed Python library that enables users to create pictures and shapes by providing them with a virtual canvas. The on-screen pen that we will be using for drawing is called the Turtle, and that's essentially where the library gets its name. Um, one can actually uh, make pretty interesting and complicated shapes and patterns using Turtle, and today I will show you how to create a couple pretty cool functions, right? Okay, so now, the first thing we want to do is... um. You want to open PyCharm or, or whatever editor you, and slash IDE you want to use. But um, I'm using PyCharm, so open PyCharm, create a new project. And I call this project um, Turtle Shapes. And so what we want to do is we want to go to import, or we want to uh, import a few libraries. So obviously we want to import Turtle, but we also want to import time, right? We want to import time, and I'll explain how that's going to be used later. Right, and so the next thing we want to do is we want to define a global variable. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go t dot equals turtle pin dot pin. And so now we can use this t variable to um, draw and manipulate shapes on the screen. Right. All right. So now from here we want to do um, we're going to actually define um, our first function. Right, and so this function is we're essentially gonna we're gonna be able to um, draw like a spiral shape, but we're gonna print a number for each little angle of that spiral, so to speak. Um, actually, I can show you an example. Um, so this is essentially something we'd be creating. Right, so there's a spiral shape, and it, it prints out the numbers in the spiral shape, as you can see right here. Right. Um, so in order to do that, we want to um, define our method, right, or define our function rather. And so we can go define, um, and we're going to call this number count spiral, for example. Right, and in this method, we're going to first we're going to set the, our background color to black. Right, so we do that by going turtle dot bg color, and inside bg color, we're just going to pass in the value of uh, black, and that that will determine the um, color of the background. Next, we want to go. We're going to define the colors we're going to use. Right, so go colors, and then this is going to be an array of um, of, of strings so to speak and, and it's going to dictate um you know each element is going to represent a color so the first one we're going to go red second element we can go yellow right um third element we can go uh, blue and then fourth element we're going to go uh, green right so now, the next thing we're going to do is we want to we're going to start a for loop, and so we're going to go for i in range thirty one. Actually, we're going to we're going to increase this to sixty one, so that way it'll show sixty numbers on screen, right? And then for i in range uh, sixty one, we want to go um, we're going to go t dot pin color right and in this color or we're gonna essentially we're gonna tell what color to use each iter each time the the loop loops right and so we'll, we're gonna essentially loop through each color so that way each each number is gonna be a different color from the previous number we printed on the screen. So now we want to go colors, and then we're gonna go in brackets, I modulus four, right? And essentially what this does, it, it, um, it takes the remainder of I, whatever that's gonna be, divided by four. And um, that way it ensures that we can only index uh, index zero through three. Um, so no matter what number 
you is what depending on what it is it's either going to be a remainder of um zero one two or three and that way you know if it's if it's zero we um it'll go to red if it's one it'll go to yellow if it's two it'll go to blue and if it's three it'll go to um green and this is this is beneficial because if we were just placed i in there like this then it will it will go off of what i is and if i is for example four or five or 61 um obviously there's there's not four or five just 61 elements in here i mean there is four but this is index three because it starts at zero so it would, it would just break it so we need to make sure that we can go zero from three only so zero one two three right so that's what that does um so now we're gonna go t dot pin up and this is this essentially raises the pin off the paper um our canvas in this case and it allows us to move our turtle around without actually drawing a uh, a line on the screen right so now we can go t dot pin up and after that we're gonna go t dot forward right so we want to take our pin off the paper and we want to move it forward, right? And so we're gonna we can tell um, we can tell what uh, uh, how far we want our our um, turtle to move forward. So we're gonna go. We're just gonna pass in i times four. So whatever i is, we're just gonna multiply that for multiply that by four and, and tell the turtle to move um, that value, right? So next we're gonna go t dot pin down. Right, and this um, essentially places the pin onto the the paper or the canvas, and allows us to start creating our shapes or writing whatever we want right on screen. Right, so now we're gonna go t dot right, and um, in this right method, we're gonna pass in a few arguments, and so the first one is gonna be i. So we want we want to write the number on screen well i represents each number in this loop so i mean we could for for example high and it would print high um in a spiral but since we're going to print numbers um we can go i and i represents each number when once it loops through right and so then next we want to dictate we can dictate the font of each number right and so um we can just go font equals, and now we want to go in parentheses. We want to fill in this with three more arguments. Um, so essentially, the first argument for here, we're gonna we're gonna um, dictate the style of the font. So we can type in Arial, for example. Um, all right, and then the next argument, we want to we want to um, determine the size, and we do that by we're going to cast this value to an integer, and inside of actually I put way too many parentheses. Uh, one second. All right, so we're going to go integer, and then we're going to go um, i times four, right? And then divided by four, and they're also going to want to add another parenthesis here, um, right? And then we add a closing parenthesis there, right? Make it look pretty real quick, right? And so now a last argument we we're going to pass in, um, I guess the type of font, so to speak. So in this example, we're going to make our numbers bold. They're all going to be bold, right? You, I'm sure you can put italicize in there, but we're just gonna we're just gonna make them bold, right? So there's that. Well, what's this? Okay, yep. So now, next step is we're going to go t dot left, and this essentially tells the turtle to move left, and we're gonna say move left 75 pixels, right? And so now. Um, or actually not 75 pixels, but 75 degrees. You want to turn 75 degrees left, right? So now, after we're done, we can just, um, we can essentially, we can print done, just to tell, tell the user um, that that we're done with our, um, 
the turtle shape drawing so I could just go done and the slash in uh, indicates a new line just just to make things look uh, a little bit prettier right and so now lastly we want to um, just for this purpose, we're going to go time dot sleep, and this essentially allows us to dictate how long the image stays on screen. Because if you run through all this code once it's done, it'll just disappear. This will allow it to stay on screen for 10, 15 seconds. That way, you can you know admire your art. Um, in part two, we'll show you. I'll show you how to um, keep the image on screen, and you can dictate which function you run. But right now, this is fine. Right. So now we're essentially done with that. So the last thing we need to do is we need to create a entry point for Python so we can run our program. And we simply do that by calling this statement um, right here. Um, if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals, you know, underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Um, if it equals that, that creates a... Um, entry point for Python and then we can just call our method that we just wrote right there and um, I'm sure it's gonna want another space yeah all right and so just to keep formatting clean enough to standard and so now here is essentially everything we need so now if we run this it creates a spiral shape of numbers and it prints out each number in a different color from the previous one right you know depending on the numbers we defined red yellow blue green and as you can see it, it yeah it works and it goes up to 60 as we um, indicated that we wanted to happen in our code right there and so yeah and it will stay on screen for 15 seconds or however you want it to stay that is how you draw um, a, a, a number count spiral, so to speak. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how to do something even more interesting. But uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned.